Good day everyone, today we are going to start a new lesson concerning the addition and subtraction of fractions. This lesson is for grade 6, book of grade 5. So please stay focused and let's begin. We have to add these two fractions, 1 over 7 plus 5 over 7. First of all, we have to look at the denominator. As long as the two denominators of the two fractions are equal, the same denominator, so we can start the operation immediately. We can start adding 1 over 7 plus 5 over 7 immediately. So 1 over 7 plus 5 over 7 is equal to, what do, what do we have to do in this case? We have to add the two numerators and keep the same denominator. So 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 over 7. In another way, we can imagine we have 7 pieces. The first fraction is to take one piece from the total 7 pieces. The second fraction is to take 5 pieces from total 7 pieces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The addition of these two fractions is to count all the taken uh, fractions or parts over the total which is 7 so we have how many green pieces we have we have 6 so the answer is 6 over 7 we have now another operation we have to add 4 over 8 plus 5 over 6 we have first of all to look at the two denominators the two denominators are not equal we have 8 as denominator of the first fraction and 6 as denominator of the second fraction so we cannot start the operation immediately we have to have the same denominator in both fractions so let's suppose we have a chocolate bar cut into 8 pieces we have to take 4 pieces from the total of 8 pieces this is the first fraction and the second fraction we have to suppose that we have a chocolate bar cut into 6 pieces we have to take 5 pieces as long as the denominator is not equal we cannot add them until we make them having the same denominator so what do we have to do we have to reduce the fraction to the same denominator so for example 4 over 8 and 5 over 6 they must have the same denominator to start the operation so how do we do that we have 4 over 8 plus 5 over 6 To the right, we can write the multiples of 8. We have to have a common multiple for both denominators. So the multiples of 8 are 0, 8, 16, 24, 38, for example, and 40. The multiples of 6 are, of course, 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. So as you see, if you notice, in both multiples, the multiples of 8 and the multiples of 6, both of them we have 24. So this is the common multiple of these two denominators, the 6 and 8. So how to transform the 8 and 6 into 24? To transform 8 into 24, we have to multiply it by 3. Therefore, we have to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by the same number, which is 3. So we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. And how to get, how to switch or 6 into 24? We have to multiply it by 4. Therefore, we have to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction the numerator and the denominator by 4. So the answers will be 
12 over 24 plus 20 over 24. Now we have the same denominator, so we can now start the operation by adding the two numerators. The answer will be 12 plus 20 is equal to 32 over 24. But we have to reduce it. We can divide 32 and 24 by the same number. So we can divide them by 8. So we divide 32 by 8 and 24 by 8 by the same number at the top and the bottom, of course. And we get the final answer, which is 4 over 3. So we just reduced the fraction. The answer on the calculator of 32 over 24 is equal to the answer 4 over 3. Let's do another example by the subtraction. 6 over 7 minus 3 over 21. First of all, we have to look at the denominators. They don't have the same denominator, so we cannot start immediately the operation. We have to reduce the denominators into the same denominator. So we draw a line. To the right, we have to write the multiples of 7 and multiples of 21. So multiples of 7 are 0, 7, 14, 21, 28, and 35. The multiples of 21 are 0, 21, 42, etc. So we can notice that both multiples has 21. So we use the 21 because it's a common multiple for both numbers. So how to transform 7 into 21? We just multiply it by 3. But we cannot multiply only the denominator by 3. We have to multiply both parts of the fraction, the numerator and the denominator by the same number to not change the fraction. So we multiply 6 and 7 by 3. And how to transform 21 into 21? We multiply it by 1. So we multiply above and below the fraction by 1 and we get the answers 18 over 21 minus 3 over 21. Now we can subtract the numerators. 18 minus 3 is equal to 15 over the same denominator which is 21. We can reduce this fraction by dividing both parts of this fraction, the numer numerator and the denominator by the same number which is the 3. So 15 divided by 3 over 21 divided by 3 and the final answer will be 5 over 7 we have 3 plus 3 over 7 is equal to we look at the same at the denominator we notice that the first number doesn't have denominator so the, its denominator is 1 and the second denominator is 7, so they don't have the same denominator. We have to reduce the denominator into the same, actually, denominator. So we start the multiples of 7 are 0, 7, 14, etc. While the multiples of 1 are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, as we notice, there is 7 in both multiples, so we take it, because it's common. How to make 1, 7? We multiply it by 7, of course. So, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 7. So, 3 times 7 over 1 times 7. The second fraction, 7, to transform it into 7, we multiply by just 1, to not change it. So the final answers will be 21 over 7 plus 3 over 7. We add the numerators and we keep the same denominator. So 21 plus 3 is equal to 24 over 7. And this is the answer. Now we have to simplify and work out. 4 over 12 plus 2 over 6. We can notice that 4 over 12 we can reduce it. 4 over 12 we can divide it by 4 the numerator and the denominator, so the final answer will be 1 over 3. While the 2 over 6, so 2 over 12 is equal to 1 over 3, and also the 2 over 6, we can divide it by 2 above and below, so the answer will be 1 over 3 as well. So we, instead of writing 2 over 6, we can write it 1 over 3. 
and on the calculator it will give us the same number. So 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 we add the numerators of course and we keep the same denominator so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 over 3. Don't forget guys you have agenda number 1 to page 110 on your CV. Thank you and goodbye.